you can't escape it. Yeah. Like when you watch stuff, you get you're getting inspired whether mm-hmm. you like it or not. Yeah, or even just listening to music because you got to know what the fuck is going on out yeah. here. You know, it's nothing worse than you make a song and then you listen to some shit like ah, oh, kind of got some shit like this. Yeah. I guess that's the same kind of way with comedy too, though. Yeah. You you come up with a bit or something, then you see somebody and they get you know that's, that's that funny. Whole thing. That just happened to me. Did it? Because I'm new. Like I, I mean, I write stuff my all my life. Like all my jokes are just my life. I lived a weird life. That's the one thing I know I do got going for me is I've lived a life where nobody would really, really live my life. And if they did, they sure as hell ain't going to admit it. So I got jokes about all that kind of stuff. But lately I've been writing a lot of stuff. And then people, I saw a special, I'm not going to say who's, where he started touching on something. I was like, ah, ah. And, and his, he's real famous. And now when I tell mine, I'm like, someone's going to be like, Oh, yeah. where'd you get that idea? And I'm like, motherfucker, I got that idea from my life. <laughs> but, but that guy is talking about it, you know, in, mm-hmm. a, in a similar fashion. And that's the thing too. Them motherfuckers be taking that joke theft shit serious in that shit. Well, I I would t- in skateboarding. I used to be like that. If you did my trick my way, I would go up to him and be like, "Really? Oh, fuck yeah, man! I'll regulate. I don't give a shit." I kind of look at in some sense like with rap. Kind of, I always kind of looked at it like skateboard tricks in some sense. Like when I see somebody do a trick. I'd be like, oh shit, I can kind of like put that in my arsenal. But I feel like if I do the trick, it's going to look different because it's me doing it. Okay, it depends if what kind of trick it is. If 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 it's a if it's a, uh, a, a progression, like you added something to something that's already oh, yeah. been done, yeah. then that's a whole pass. I'll let it fly. But if it's like a trick that it's like a, it's a blatant ripoff of mine, I, I, I've done it. And then later on when I got older, I was like, you know what? He was doing it because he thought I, I made it look good and he was trying to do it my way. He was like, uh, he was paying homage to my to my, to my my skills. Mm-hmm. But to me, I was like, once you get your own fucking slob air like that, dude, like seriously, you're going to do my shit? Oh, shit. And he was being, he was actually like, I like the way you do stuff. So I was trying to like show you respect, but I took it the wrong way. Damn, man, you kind of blowing my mind with that. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, I thought, like, you know, like, because I, I see it as like a natural progression of some shit. Like, like when Tony Hawk first did the 900. Like, motherfuckers going to try to do a 900. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but there was a time there before anybody made the 900 when somebody spent a 900 and then there was like maybe seven or eight of us that were spinning it. And there was a little bit of a thing going on. Oh, really? Like, to the point where Tony trying to do it at somebody else's ramp that had been spinning it. He was like, get Tony out of there. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. But I, it, is it different for street skating and vert? Or is just a, that's just rules? I think there was shit. an error there because vert ramp is, it's one thing. So like if you do a trick on street, you can go to another rail or another thing that's co- a completely different obstacle and do the same trick on that obstacle. And now you're different. On the vert ramp, it's pretty, it's a vert ramp, dude. Like it's pretty, like... If you're doing that trick, there's no version of it that isn't that particular version. So these days it's different because everyone's doing it. They're adding to whatever it is. Like if it's a 900, someone's doing a judo 900 or an indie mm-hmm. 900. I'm like, well, then that's yours. Yeah. You don't own 900. But there was a time there where it was like, we're doing 180s and 360s. And if you do a 180 where it's somebody else's, it was a little bit of a ripoff, you know? Oh, shit. It's so, better now. And and people used to be way more competitive and, and meaner to each other. Now it's a way more understanding world. Mm-hmm. Like people are happy for the progression all the way around. But there was a time where it was like punk rock and everybody was kind of mean. Yeah. You know, like everyone was kind of like not nice to each other or like not trying to help you come up because nobody helped them come up. Yeah. Now everybody's super helpful and encouraging. It's like, it's real friendly. So how you feel about it being in the Olympics? Like, I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, the only, my only beef is that there's no vert because that's what I, I'm a vert skater and there's no vert in the Olympics. And I'm like, you got synchronized diving? No disrespect. But that <laughs> shit sucks. <laughs> Where's vert skating in, in the Olympics? Like, yeah. don't even try and tell me that shit's as good as, as vert skating. Like, no way. How was the um the picking process? Or who gets to skate in the Olympics? <laughs> well, if you've got a country where the best guys in the world are in that country and you're like pretty good, you're not coming. Oh. But if you've got a country where nobody's good, well, then you can go to the Olympics. You're not going to get a medal yeah. because, let's face it, America and Japan, who else? I think Canada or maybe Australia, those are the best dudes in the world and girls. So I saw a guy, a Russian guy, who was in park. 
He's not very good. <laughs> but I don't think he had to do too many trials to like make it into. Oh, yeah, so it is like a, a tryout <laughs> kind of thing. And then one of my friends, American guy, Andy McDonald, he is the oldest guy to be in the Olympics for skateboarding. He's 51. One of his parents is English, so he got a British passport. So he competed for the Olympics for Great Britain. Oh, shit. So he did he get a medal? No, but was he in the Olympics? Yep. Okay. And I think that's cool. Like, if if you got a a family member, they can get you a passport and you can go in the Olympics. Because fifty one, and he like gets to be in an Olympian skateboarder. I'm happy for him. I think everyone wins. Yeah.